Okay, guys, uh, we're here at uh, Shag Bark. We're at, it doesn't go any farther up here in the Shag Bark area. We're up here uh, helping out with a tow. Um, a good friend here, faithful YouTube watcher. Uh, if you guys are in the area and you need anything trimmed, cut, this guy is amazing, man. He's uh, he will he will definitely get the job done. But he uh, dropped a belt on his 250 uh, coming up uh, into the shag bark area. And like I said, guys, we're at the top. We we can't really go any farther. Uh, you'll get the view coming back down the mountain, which is super scary because he he doesn't have any brakes and any steering, and that would have been. It, we're, we're lucky that it broke where it broke because uh, coming down that hill, if it would have cut loose. Uh, somebody could have uh, very easily lost their life. Um, but uh, the view's kind of peeking through here, guys. I'm gonna put you up high. So can you see where we are? That's Bluff Mountain, where the towers are. Straight across, that's Bluff Mountain. Yeah, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but straight across, yeah, Bluff Mountain on that top over there, which uh, if you guys had followed our our other videos, you know how high uh, that view was. Uh, but we're uh, we're up here on this, uh, and that's straight down, guys. Straight down. What's your elevation on the walk? Seventy-seven sixteen. Seventy-seven sixteen. So we are we are up. Well, the truck definitely told you about it. Yeah, my truck. The transmission was starting to get super hot. We had to stop about uh, halfway and let the truck cool off a little bit, and we didn't. We didn't know if we were going to be able to get to the actual truck itself, but um, here's the crew working hard, man. Like I said, if you guys are buying any property in the area, doing any of that stuff, get a hold of these guys. We'll got we'll have the link in the description how to get a hold of uh, Mike Michael. Um, but an amazing crew. They will come through. They will make your they will make the spot for your home. They'll make the spot for your driveway. They will do whatever they have to do to make it happen. You can see they're up here. They've got their work cut out for them up here in this mountain. Yeah, they just dropped that one too. But yes, Michael's an amazing guy. Um, you know, I, I've, I've met him doing a couple of winch outs. Uh, his uh, his bigger chipper, and I think he was he was stuck in a mulch pile when I first yeah. when I first met him. But um, amazing guy, we'll get the job done for you. And we appreciate uh, we appreciate the business. He always gives us a, a call when he needs us. And but he uh, he has definitely got himself into a spot today. Uh, this crazy old mountain road but we're going to go back down to the bottom guys and show you just how bad it is um, so from the entrance to shag bark it still it still take it still takes about 20 minutes mm -hmm. to yeah. get up here just because the elevation climb is so so steep and it's straight um, up the whole time and it is so we're gonna we're gonna have some clinching moments on getting uh big white back down the hill with this load on it so bear with us guys we're gonna if you want to watch i'm gonna get turned around right here and then okay. you can hop in once we start headed down yes. the mountain what side do you, do you need me to watch this side or that side um
my nerves will allow me to hop in, Jeff. I might just walk down. <laughs> Can I just walk? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, guys, if his if his belt would have uh, cut loose coming down this with the with a load on it, it he would have been he would have been in trouble. Been in trouble. Somebody would have been hurt really badly. Luckily, so, it happened right there where it did. He said that they were taking a break here in a minute. If we wanted to walk all the rest of the way up there and get a video, but I think we're good. Yeah, it's just super oh, super gosh. Deep, guys. So on this map of Shag Bark. We'll get down here to the bottom and I'll show this map. Yeah, I'm sure the camera doesn't. Maybe we can get a back view of it after we get to this sign down here, but. And this was just the last this, yeah. 100 yards of it. Yeah, yeah, it's just been a, it's been a battle to get up here. It's just the last bit of it right there. Um, but yeah, he's he got lucky. It, it actually broke back there. We'll get him back down to the to the house and. Let's look at the. So this is the map of Shagbark. Let's see if I can prop it up here. And this here is the entrance where we came in, right here. And we are here. So it doesn't get any higher. We're. Um, it's very top. Very top. So it's. We came in and it was just uphill the whole way. Just up, 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 up. So I don't know that you can get any further. He said it dead ends up there. And he said there's like a big circle. They've cut like a big cul-de-sac type thing up there. And it's, uh, he said it's just beautiful. The views are just incredible, which I believe. It is kind of teeter-tottered back and forth from gravel to pavement a few times, but what a climb. I mean, it's, it is intense to get up here. If my truck could talk, it would, it would definitely tell you. It would probably be cussing you out right now. Are you going to go back down the exact same way we came up? Probably be the easiest. I think the other route is a little longer. I doubt any of it's any less steep. Will your brakes survive? All right. Slow and easy. Looks like an abandoned property up there. Or maybe not abandoned. Maybe just... Somebody was going to build something and had fancy gates put in. Very fancy gates. A lot of the people that live, who live up here, I saw had um, UTVs, side-by-sides. Um, Polaris, Rangers, things like that. To get back and forth, which I don't blame them. And there's pavement and 
there's houses up here. So all of those trucks have been up here too. Uh, yeah, he was he was uh, telling me that the gravel trucks were were stopping down there at the bottom of that last climb and backing backing up that last hill to dump because there was no place to turn around. So look at this driveway here. Yeah, that's about as steep as it gets too. Good thing it's concrete. Oh my gosh, it keeps going. It doesn't look like much on the camera, but probably not. But trust us, it's stup super steep. Yeah, you know, on the way up here, I kept thinking, "Oh my gosh, that has to be it. We can't keep going up anymore." Well, sure enough, we'd go up some more. Oh yeah, the little car that's parked on the road up here. So guys, this one that they're building has got an amazing view too, and it's a really cool cabin. We're redoing, maybe. I don't know. channel started we'd love to see that kind of stuff um, give him kind of a, a feedback of, of uh, just how many and I think it'd be overwhelming on how many people would want to see that stuff I, I know so too. I know I would love to see it so. these driveways man cutting back in to have enough room for their car I'm 
trying to stay away from the edge. Please stay away from the edge. It looks like it's kind of broken up over there a little bit. Kind of see the the angle on the driveway there. This, I, th I think you go straight. Yeah, we went straight around. Okay. This was a, I think this was a driveway. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. I know there was a weird turn. There's nobody coming. that they've just put in. Some lucky folks are gonna get a new home, but my goodness, they're gonna get a three-story foundation too. Yeah, it's just it's just crazy to me how they can get over here by the porta potty and I'll shoot back that way and see if we can see. But yeah, it's just crazy to me how they can just pick a slope and just build on it. Get your house will go right here on this hillside. There's another one here. Definitely like to go down. It's less nerve-wracking for me on 
breaking the truck, but as far as breaking me, going down is worse. Uh, going up is worse for the truck. I don't know if you can see a view peeking through over there or not. It's pretty tree covered. Yeah. I tell you what, I do love those yellow straps that we're using on this truck. Yeah, eight point tie down makes it very nice. The sign says caution, steep grade, narrow road. Yeah, I don't like stuff sliding around on the bed, do you? Okay, this line looks kind of low. Oh goodness, this is the switchback. I don't see anybody in the mirror, do you?
okay, man. Oh, yeah. We're gonna stop over here. Thank you. Stay tuned.